Yo, what is good, fam? Welcome to episode 51, Speaking of Which Podcast. Got the boy John in the building, man. Got my man Aaron here with me. Episode 51. Episode 51. Yes, Shout sir. out to our sponsor, Elite Sound Studio. Uh, you can watch us on YouTube, which most of you are. You can also listen to us mm-hmm. during your little workout mm-hmm. or you're like in traffic on Spotify, yes, you know? Come um, on, man. Appreciate yeah, we got, the love for last episode, too, man. Yeah, thank you, guys. We really appreciate it. We got a lot to talk about, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, we got Drake's tour. We got Ice Spice. We got Uzi, Cardi, Wallen. We got some new albums. Come on. We got the greatest you rapper know? of all time. You know what I'm saying? Lil Punk. Lil Punk. Stop playing with him, man. <laughs> and, of course, Hot Takes, man. We going to get into it. So, first, yeah. we going to talk <coughs> about that boy, Punk. Huh. Lil Pump 2, bro. Lil Pump 2. An album that's going to be forgotten by the time this episode comes out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Lil Pump 1 dropped in 2017, so this is what? 8, 9, 0, 1, 2. Yeah, six years later, man. Yeah, man. Um, and by the way, I, I'm sorry yeah, to cut you up, but um, this is the Gas Meter Ass segment. Yes, sir. This is when we kind of like review albums that just came out. Is it and gas? I can assume. Is it mid or is it ass? Well, I can assume <laughs> what your answer is. Butthole? <laughs> Yo, boy. Listen, Yo. man. I, so I did a review on this on my channel. I, con- I wasted 39 minutes of my life for you guys. So show love on that, please. <laughs> but, yo, I went into the album. I wasn't expecting, like, lyrical shit. Like, lyrical, miracle, swirl. You miracle. wanted to just be some turn-up shit, fun music. You know what I mean? Like, nothing... Like one ear out ooh. the other. Yeah. I was just like, ooh, yeah. Papa Sand, Papa Sand, Crack Seal, like, ooh. My grandma off man. Yeah, yeah, off Zans. You know, I'm expecting a lot of drug talk and shit, unfortunately. But um, there's probably like three songs on this entire project that it's not bad. It's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, a good three out of, I think, 20. Like, nah, nah, nah. It's actually only 18? like. 18? I don't know, actually. I think there's only like 16, actually, surprisingly. The ratio is crazy, though. Let me see. There's this one song where he really tried super hard for like a mosh pit, rock star kind of song. Yeah. Rock star shit, cut my wrist. You can literally tell like he's he, trying hard. He's trying hard. Like he has no idea about that culture. He's 16 just, songs. He's just appropriating OD. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, it's called punk rock heavy metal. I do, I do fuck with the heavy metal part. Like the yeah. intro is really like it's some of the worst music <laughs> I've ever heard in my life. That intro, yeah. but you know, just the beat alone and stuff. Like I could hear like Destroy Lonely, like going crazy yeah, on that, yeah, nah, or sure. like Ken Carson, you know. Yeah, I mean the the single uh, All of a Sudden that dropped maybe a year ago. That shit is hard. That. That's not part of the, one of the songs that I say is good because I already heard that. That shit right, is fire. Right. He got a song. Two songs with Smoke Perp. They're actually pretty good. Whenever him and Perp get together, they make good Their music. Their cohesion is crazy. It's just, yeah. bro, it, like I said in that video, it's hard to hear what he's saying. Like, the lyrical content is stupid lyrics, which we expect, but still talking about popping perks, <laughs> still sipping lean. Yeah. He talk, he, he, one of his bars says, if I keep sipping walk hard, just let me die. Like, come, I'm or, not trying to turn up yeah, to that. Yeah, he said, if I overdose, just let me die. Some that's shit like that. Like, that's real. Real. Come on, man. Like, come on. Like, you're getting older. You're never going to progress as an artist if you yeah. keep. It's and although, like you said, we were expecting that those type of topics, yeah. it's very disappointing that he's now, I believe, 22, 23. You want to hear some growth. Something, man. Right? You've been through a lot. Like, don't don't act like you didn't fall off. Yeah. Like, and there's a story behind the fall off. Like, you can talk about it. And he's acting like he don't be in the gym nowadays all the time. Still talking about sipping lean. Pump lost his belly, his yeah, lean gut. Like, come on. how you? So, you telling me after the gym you sip walk heart instead of a protein shake? He has one song though called "Move It." That shit hard. Move like, it, move yeah. It, move it. That shit will That'll go crazy go hard the show. in a Rolling Loud set. Hell no yeah. cap. That there's a song called "Walk." <laughs> that that beat goes crazy. But the there's a song called "Splurging." Do yourself a favor. I know it's hard, but listen to that song. It's one of the worst songs of the Yo, year. Yo, th- is it like the it's, third or fourth track? Nah, it's t- the second to last one. Let me look at it's it. There was one track. Horrible. I was like, "Yo, it's just low energy." Mad lazy on the track. There's a lot of throwaways on here. I don't know, man. It's just low pump. There was two a track where I was just like, "Yo, what?" In How the much world? you think this shit's selling, bro? More than 10k or under 10k? I saw the intro song had like three million plays. Where? 
Um, oh yeah, because it's with Perp. Yeah, they dropped a music video for it. But uh, over shit. or under 10k? I would, I would say under. Under. Under 10k. Damn, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, man. He got a song called Swipe at the end with G4 Boys. Terrible. Why, right? Terrible feature. He's like, reach for my chain, you're going to die. And it's just like basic shit. <laughs> and bro. G4 Boys, I haven't heard about them since like 2018. I never even heard of them. 2019. They were oh, big like strip got? club guys oh, like from New York City. I heard of GS Boys. They were like Swipe Boys. They were like the first. That's why it's called Swipe? That's the name of the song. Swipe. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. Duh. Yeah, they were known for scam. They were scam rappers before that guy from Detroit. I forgot his name. He fell off too, but yeah. <laughs> I know GS boys. Those are the dudes that made Stanky Leg back in 09. Do the Stanky Leg. Do the Stanky Dude, Leg. I never heard of G4 boys, but yeah, what do you think, man? Gas me the ass. <laughs> I think that shit is like Straight colon cancer. Cheeks. Colon cancer in that mug. I ain't gonna Butthole hold you. rip while just listening to this shit. Pause. <laughs> like your shit bleeding, no cap. But an album that is a lot better. R.I.P. Low Key, man. Key talk to him. Yo, that was pretty good. Yeah. My hey, some, man, don't take a down. I'm gonna put some auto tune on this man, one. Don't take a down. Key talk to him. Yo, nah, I ain't gonna lie. This album is well put together, man. Posthumous release. Um, I I heard that you said that Gunna was supposed to be on it, but they took yeah, him out. Yeah, there were a lot of these songs leaked, you know, around the time Keed passed, and two of the songs had Gunna on it, mm. and those two songs were replaced, I believe, with Trippy and the other one Offset, with Big Sean. Yeah. Oh, okay. Which yeah. I love that Big Sean track. He don't really like it. I think it's gas. I, I think like the lyrical material is great. It's just I when I hear a sample of Hot. That just came the, out, huh? like the, when the beat drops, the and the brum, brum, brum. yeah, yeah, like they just they sampled just that song. It? It's yeah. it's I, I like the original better. So okay, I think uh, what's it called? The the song what yo we played it in the car, uh, and not 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 love you love me again. Long way to go, I believe. But we were like, yeah, this shit. Yeah, like hold, this is a really good A one key track, man. Yeah, if if if. Like it's fire, bro. For a key track, if there was like an apex to like his ability, like he reached his best potential, it's that song. it was that song. Long way to go. Great, great. That song track, is it, it, you feel it in your soul. It makes you want to get up and get a bag. Yeah, the like, production's great on here. His vocals fire, bodied it. Yep. SRT is is a good beat, but it's a little like repetitive. The chorus, yeah. yeah. But Muso Kuso Nav body. That shit it. is hard. OD. Muso, yeah. How many were offset? I like get money with Trippy Red. You could tell these are posthumous uh, verse. Uh, you know these verses were after he passed because uh, Trippy mentions um, free Keith Soul and free the goat. Yeah. And then Offset said he misses his dog. So like, yeah, it's a little sad, especially the last song. That shit said he said it almost made him drop a tear. Yeah, man. that last song because that guy Friday. Shout out to him. Yo, he body. DJ that. Khaled like put him on um, the guy the. The God Did, right? God Did yeah. track, yes. And he bodied that. So to see him on this track, it, per it fit perfectly. Yeah, it was a Because he's very song. gospel, you know. Um, and Key's the just single, talking, right? Key's just, like, that whole song. He's like, You know what's interesting? I'm glad, you, I'm glad you brought that up because Key said, this is my comeback. Mm. So it's interesting that his mindset at the time was that, that Cleveland – Two, yeah. I think it was. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like 20, trapped on Cleveland too. I think came out like twenty twenty one. I believe. And it was a little bit of a letdown compared to his the original joint. release. Yeah. You know, um, when he first came out, it was it was a disappointment. Yeah. Uh, but he you know, felt just, like this was it. He just to like know that he it. felt like this was his comeback. You know, it's sad. It kind of is, bro. Like you know, what I'm saying you could tell this would have been. That's that's how hard this. Show Absolutely, is. the single Hitman. <laughs> That shit go off. Yeah, man. To see new We used key. it for the hot takes post if you guys saw it. New you know? music video and all that, man. It's a shame, bro. Like Key was really talented. Yeah. I definitely did not appreciate his talent when he was here. Um, I only knew like maybe three songs and some features here and there. Especially on Lil Boat Three. He got a song with with Lil Yachty called uh Range Rover Sport Truck. Range I'm pretty Rover thankful. I got to meet him. I got to Yeah, he got some fire around, footage of Key. Being around man. him early on. This was twenty eighteen. Yeah. So, you know, or 2019. Um, you There's know, that video of Thug listening to Key, too. Remember that video? Yeah, he's like, you could tell he's like, yo, like, yeah, I'm hard. trying to get put on. And, you know. Like, yeah, he reminds me of me. Like, And just to close out on this, how do you feel like 
you know, with this album coming out, if he was still alive, what do you think his career would be at right now? I think it would, people would, uh, you know, turn their heads to it. I, yeah. I'm not sure if he would have, like, I don't know, man. It's hard to say. Because even, I, even before he passed, I, I was like, he fell off. I've mm -hmm. been said that. Yeah. I was like, yeah, he, but, like, I was low-key, like, I didn't listen to a lot of his music, so I didn't think he was that good to come back at the time. Mm. I didn't listen to enough music. But like hearing this, like damn, I, I was wrong. Like yeah, he, in 2019, Keed, if you if you get your 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 Spotify Wrapped or your Apple yeah. Wrapped, he was my most played song, most played album, most played artist that year. Um, I seen Keed perform at Rolling Loud New York 2019. That yeah. shit was fire. It had the crowd going crazy, yeah. man. I feel like this album, maybe it wouldn't have made him like like surpass too many people, yeah. but. His respect would have been there for sure, cause this I album agree. is amazing. It is, I it really it is. is. I'm curious to see. Not that it matters, but like if it sells well, if it's successful. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's definitely gas. Gas, my boy. So speaking of gas, is this new Uzi? And first of all, my man <laughs> Uzi posted on his story, Bruh, I'm gonna put it right here. You know, we gonna put the little. Little thing right here, right? So it's like a devil ass. It's like a goat with wings and these we'll two kids. We'll post what he posted. We'll post what he posted. And, and then and then we'll show the original image. It says the devil under it. So we spoke about this. Lord. We spoke about this last week. I made a whole video on it, how it's just getting harder and harder, bro. It's so in your face. And you should see the comments, bro, of all these blogs posting about it. Bro, almost every comment, like, nah, they wildin'. Like, this is too much. Like, oh, he's still with this devil shit. This shit corny. This shit lame. The shift is definitely happening as far as, like, people fucking with him. And I then, can see like, it. there are some people like, oh, you're still going to listen. Shut the fuck up. Like, oh, matter. yeah. I'm going to definitely listen. It's yeah. just. It's just like, damn, why? Like, what yeah. the hell, man? Like, do you think this is still going to be called 1629? Because that's been teased since, like, 2017, bro. You think that's still going to be the name of it? Or is it going to be, like, Satan's butthole or some <laughs> shit? <laughs> you know, hey. They might just make a track called 1629 and name the album something mm. else, you know? Mm. He but, goes, uh, Uzi, I believe he said, we're about to take over the world and shit. And it's like, yo. Yeah. I, it's definitely going to sell at least 100K first week when that shit drops. At least. At shit. least. I'm a, I would say like a 250. Do you think this album or whatever it is is going to come out before Pink Tape or? Nah. I think no? Pink Tape and, and Cardi, uh, whatever his, thing, his album's called, yeah. is going to drop. Yeah. And then probably like fall, maybe fall of this year, yeah. um, maybe even winter next year. Did you see that video of the, I think it was like TMZ or somebody where they asked Uzi, oh, what did you mean about, you know, making a city girl? And if you look at his city? eyes, he's like. And his his beanie <laughs> had the pentagram on it, by the way. And they're like, what did you mean by that? It's It's not Satan. It's just like, you know, my dick is small. So like. <laughs> I need somebody to believe in it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a higher power. Nah, and you're like, when's Pink Tape dropping? In like two months. Yeah. You believe that? Yeah, absolutely. He has a tour set up already, so. It was supposed to, it was supposed to happen in March, the tour. But I guess oh, it got. Oh, really? Yeah, That's right. Yeah, That's, That's right. Saying, so. Interesting. I mean, that shit's going to go crazy. The number's going to be crazy. But, man, Uzi Cardi. Uzi man. a liar, by the way. Yeah. You can tell he's lying. He, when he was answering that TMZ oh, yeah. question. He probably he, did that just as what the people want to hear. Because you, know? you could read, like, there's Between body the language. Yeah. He's like, like, get off me. Like, yeah, I'm like, just saying this to. Right, 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 nah, right. I felt that, too. You knew he was lying. Yeah. Imagine he was like, bruh, it really means the devil. But if you. Imagine he was yo, mad. Like, if you, but I hate that he plays with it. Like, just own that shit. Mm. Like, just say it. Word. I think he knows if he really owns up to it, like. Not only the allure of if he is or isn't yeah. um, is going to go away, but, like, people really won't fuck with it. Like, if he actually blatantly says, yes, I fuck with that devil shit, like. You don't think people will fuck with that for the most part? I don't think so at all. Of course, he's go he's still going to have fans yeah. and shit. But I guess he wants to keep it, like, a mystery. So, it's yeah. like have people talk. It's having us talk about it. Shit. Right? I'm, I, but shit, I can't wait for the album, 1629. <laughs> we'll see, man. I can't wait. Shit, so, man, let's get into this Ice Spice situation, my boy. Spicy. That, that was like his favorite rapper for a long time. Still is. You know Yo, she's top three. So, shout out to Ice Spice's team. 
the marketing, all these blogs I keep seeing, all these posts. She has more monthly listeners than Jesus, than Elvis, <laughs> than Michael Jackson, Cardi. And it's the like, Beatles, yo, yeah. you can't really, I understand why they do it because it looks alarming. Like, whoa, that's crazy. She's that hot. And don't, to know, you know, I'm not trying to discredit it, but it's like monthly listeners is mostly could be just one song. Yeah, it, it, it not, usually stems from the, the like the hotness of an artist at the time. And when's the last time the Beatles dropped? Exactly. That's the last time Cardi dropped. Exactly. Like you Michael Jackson hasn't dropped. Come on. He's been dead for like 15 years. Come on. It's like <laughs> that one song. What's that song? The da 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 Whatever it is. That shit does crazy numbers. So that one song could tally for her whole, her whole day. You could say the same thing for Pink Panthers and her monthly listeners. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the last two months, her shit has gone crazy. Yeah. And you it's know? like that happens all the time. Like If you go to Lil Pump's monthly listeners... He probably has like three million. You're like, oh, he's still lit. But most of it is from his songs from 2017. Exactly. So you can't, and he just dropped is, an album. So you know that number is going to go up a little, a little more. Bit. Same thing with Smoke Per. If you go to his, he probably has at least a mil, but it's probably just all Audi. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So exactly. You, but I get why they do it. It does make her look hotter than what she is, even though she is hot. You know? Yeah, but yeah. Um, people say she's an industry plant. I don't think so. Mm. I think it was pretty organic. I, I know it was organic. Yeah. Um, I disagree on that. People always and hate. And, you know, I've said this before, but I've known about Ice since September 2021. Yeah. You know, I had been talking to her, like, trying to work with her since then. Yeah. And I, I was fucking with her song, No Clarity, at the time. And that's what got all the labels on her ass. Mm. So, you know, she does have talent. Like, people yeah. be talking about her just shaking her ass and yeah, shit yeah. and she's okay I think. some of the songs are a little gimmicky like the yeah. bikini you know whatever yeah but um you know i think there's something called artist development that we sleep on bro mm. give her some time yo people were making fun of her rolling loud performance when that was one of her first performances back then Right. Remember the New York one? Yeah, 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 yeah. But then now in Cali, yeah, she, she could tell. had she, like the whole, tell. she had the entire Rolling Loud at her set. Bro. Yeah. And yeah. they were fucking with it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You got to you gotta allow people to breathe. Like, get off her right. dick, man. Right, right. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> but you got to understand, the, hot, the hottest you are, the most hate you're going to get. That happens to Drake. That happens to all of that shit, bro. And, and, and you know, you know. She unfollowed me when she dropped her album, you know. Unfortunately, but I'ma still support her, bro. I respect I'ma it. I'ma still man. support yeah, her, bro. Yeah. And you was there. She unfollowed like 400 people that day. And I was like, like damn, why? I didn't make the cut, and, bro. And that was yo, right. bro. I've been I've been fucking with you since 2021. And hold on. <laughs> and that was right after the bikini bottom photo, video shoot that mm -hmm. you was at, mm -hmm. and she unfollowed you. So I was yep. like, damn, boy, you drop kicked your shit. Word, my chest was hurting. And, but speaking of industry, and and, and speaking yeah. of that, I'm sorry. Don't take things personal in this industry, bro. Like I learned that a long time mm. ago. You cannot take things personal, bro. Yeah. But go ahead. Where, now I was gonna say real quick, Rich Amiri. I saw a post. Um, shout out one track mine. So I don't know who posted this. I think it was our generation. I'm not sure. But they said that Rich Amiri has more. Uh, yes. Listeners yes. And I DM them. It was Underground I'm, Sound. More monthly listeners than a lot of people that would shock and I, you. I DM'd them like, yo, did you did you guys uh, just post this on your own or did the label, you know, pay right. for the post? Because that's going to cause mad drama. I told him that. Yeah. He's like, nah, the, the label paid for it. So, so it like, he has more shit. monthly listeners than a lot of people that would shock you. BK the Ruler, it was like Lancey Foe, all this. So one track mine, shout out one track mine. I don't mean <laughs> to be an instigator, but this is interesting, bro. He made a whole paragraph saying... This is clearly, like, inflated numbers. Clearly. Whatever. He said a lot more. And apparently his team was like, oh, they wanted him to delete that comment. They unfollowed him. All that shit. Hey, Richard Miriam. He's just speaking facts, though. We're going to have a lot more guests coming on very, very soon. But he hard, you though. You could like, be one of them. You can explain, you know, what's going on. Yeah. Or you don't have to, but... Yeah. Shit, we'd love to have you on the show. Maybe we can chat about That's it. That's a fact. Know? And it's just like, yo, perception is everything. We keep saying that. Whether that it is, is fake fact. or not. I mean. How do you fake that, though? I know they have streaming farms. Is like, there, Is there bots? It's literally like a big-ass office with, a, like, a thousand phones where they stream shit. Yeah. Like, a lot of YouTubers use, use it. A lot of Instagram influencers, yeah. musicians. And that, I think that but shit But that shit kind of, like, got cut off, like, last year. Like, streaming services and YouTube, they they... 
they built some t- side of, right. some sort of technology to negate that. that so I'm like, hurts, how are people I think that still only doing hurts it? At the end of the day, that only hurts, man. It's yeah. got it's got to be organic, man. Oh, I see it right here. If you ha- if you have a streaming farm, yo, holla at me. I'm yeah. with the shit. More than ho- <laughs> more than Homicide Gang, more than Dom Corleo, Autumn, Lancey Foe, Hard Rock. Oh, they're not as big. Hard right, rock. right, right. But hey, you you comment this spicy? <laughs> yeah, cause I already know. You know. Hey man, but we, what we gotta talk about is what I sold my soul for, and that's the damn Drake. <laughs> Drizzy Drake Rogers suck my wallet dry, bro. <laughs> Super dry. My man sold his girl's whip for them tickets. Yo. Stop playing, boy. Yo, boy. She Listen, walked to work today. I don't but. care. <laughs> I don't care how big you are, popular you are. People say, oh, he knows his worth. That's a lot of money, bro. Like your average Joe Schmo can't afford that, man. That's a lot of money, bro. Come on. That's the most expensive I've ever seen for a show, a rap yeah. concert. Yeah, I mean, you can opinion. do the layaway option on these Still tickets. Still going to have to pay eventually. Uh, like, yeah, but that doesn't, that doesn't do anything. I mean. Like, damn, 500 Yeah. To, damn, boy, that's a but whole look a Lil Wayne's ticket. T- Lil Wayne's tickets were expensive and. Yeah. yeah, but still, like, concert tickets are getting more and more expensive, bro. You know what I want to figure out, though? And this has been a mystery since they started it's this. It's hard to justify. The it. fee. The what? The fee on these tickets. Oh, yeah. What? Where does that go? And I there's a video. I think 1111. Processing fee. I think 1111 fee. or somebody else may have, you know, del- delved into this yeah. topic. Um, Live Nation, Ticketmaster, StubHub, they're all under one company. Really? It's like Coca-Cola with all their right. sodas and shit. So they were saying there's some, some shit going on where, yeah. like, the fee is, is really just some right. bullshit. Some bullshit. But, uh, yo, where does that fee go, bro? Because, like, you'll buy your $500 Drake ticket and it'll be a $200 fee, bro. Some a $150 shit. fee. They do that because they know people are still going to buy it, bro. But that's just taking advantage of the consumer, in my opinion, bro. That's, very, that's bread, bro. To sit all the way at the top, like $250. What, what, is, it in, what is it, insurance? Like That's crit. Like, am I getting a free soda with this shit? Like, Am I am I getting some head? Like <laughs> is Drake sitting on your lap? That's like, what I'm good. saying, boy. He better yo. yo. All I know, I already know the show's gonna be amazing. I know he's gonna perform, bro. The image for the tour is like from when he was a, a youngin to all the way now. So he's definitely gonna perform yeah. for like two hours, bro. Yeah, of course. I went to the Scorpion tour. That was great. Um, Do you remember the tickets for that or not? Prices? Probably like two fifty for to sit like GA. And I was, I was, mm. I was on top of the stadium, like, yo, shit. <laughs> I, hey, I know it's gonna be a good show. I bought tickets. I bought four tickets. Hopefully, I can sell two of them. And, uh, when it comes to the price, I don't know, cause he's the biggest artist in the world, along with Bad Bunny, yeah. Taylor Swift. And speaking of Taylor Swift, she uh, did her day one on tour was the most viewed uh, tour day. Ever on like YouTube or something? Or? No, uh, like as far as attendance goes. Uh, really? Yeah, she broke Madonna's record, which was sixty three k. Which I thought like football stadiums held like a hundred. Dallas oh. Stadium is one hundred and thirteen thousand. But um, like certain platforms posted that she broke Madonna's record of sixty three k, and she an had arena? six. Was it an arena or a stadium? Well, sixty three is kind of a. Se- stadium. She broke it with seventy k. So. Word. Um, I can see Drake doing that. Like he doesn't have to do four or six nights in New York. Yeah, six nights in New York. That's though? well, you might as well go to MetLife and do two. You know, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> I thought four was like okay, four. That's good. If he did MetLife, which is like a hundred k, he could easily sell each day for MetLife. The whole thing. Guaranteed. Six dates, yeah, though. Hell really? Yeah, I think so. Bro, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Them shits, dis- you had to be so fast. Every time I click two together, sorry, you missed out. Sorry, you missed. Like, yo, they got bots, bro. This is bullshit. <laughs> no, there, that is true. There is bots. Yo, like, I bots. can't even get my hands on the top, top seat. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, man, we in there. You Let us go. know if you're going to the Drake tour. Are you And going? if you sold your whip, your house, you know, <laughs> let us ass. know. If like, you sold your Instagram account for it, whatever. But we going to get into these hot tizzakes. By the way, peep the... 
Yo, peep the mic flags, man. Yes, sir. Show love, man. Yeah. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I just want to say shout out to everybody that, you know, helps out with what we got going on. Um, it's not cheap, you know? And if you would like to, you know, we have the donate button now. By all means, if you enjoy what we got going on, it helps the account grow. It helps us out. I really you can would, donate yeah. whatever you'd like. Whatever love you want to show, that's great. Um, but we just are very thankful for, you know, the chairs, the table, everything yep. we got very going. It's, sure. it's, not, it's not just one person doing things, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's actually a family, you know what I'm saying? So um, just want to appreciate that was hard. you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Well, let's get into it, man. My man said, G Herbo dropped a better double album than Kendrick. He dropped a G double Herbo. album. G Herbo. What, the Swervo tape? Like, I don't know. Did he just drop or something? Look it up. G Herbo. I, I can't listen to it. I've seen him all over my YouTube uh, timeline. Yeah? But, I, you know, I'm not really the biggest G Herbo fan unless it's... um. Oh, yeah. Well, October. In October 2022, yeah. Survivor's Remorse, A-side and B-side. I just yeah. can't do an hour and 14 minutes. What is How many tracks is this? 12 plus 13? <laughs> That's 25 songs. It's hey, like, man. I can't do it. I'm going to give that turbo. <laughs> yeah, I got turbo. I'm forever be you know, a couple of niggas that's down to ride for a homicide when it's drama time. Run up on the niggas with the llamas finally if his loved ones all traumatized. I like her for like, a song yo, or two. That's, that. But I don't know. I just yeah. can't do it. Better than Kendrick, you smoking. Yo, G Herbo, pull up on the pod and Chris tell us Zach, if you boy. got the, you know, got nah, that good. Facts. My man said The weekend needs to collab with more rappers. I mean, he could he yeah he was on Metro shit you know. I mean, he don't have to. I mean. Yeah, he 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 collabs with Future all the time. Uh, I just want him to go back to that time where he was like coinciding drugs with women, like that era. That that's like glass Eminem, table. Go back to killing your mom and shit. Like what? You know how they say with Eminem, <laughs> go back to like oh. yeah, like beating I, I, your girl's that's ass. That's my. I don't. Hey, it's that's my. Life. That's when I first discovered him. That's what you want? Like, I feel you. House of Balloons era was everything. Like I uh, never. Beauty really behind to the, the madness weekend. is one of the best albums of all time. That's Stop hard. Stop playing. That's hard. Girl. I like the weekday. I don't like the pop shit. Like, yeah. but whatever. What do I know? You want to test me? Uh, my man said, SZA and Brent Fires are underrated. Are I, they? Nah, Brent Fires' his last album. Just go to Joe Budden's review of his album. Hold on. Wait, I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Speaking of Joe Budden, bro, you a hater, boy. He, my man's really <laughs> said, Logic, quit making music. Yeah, he was just going in on Logic, bro. Like, Yo, clip that, because I want on. Joe to why, see why this. Why you hating on Logic, Joe, come bro. on the pod and tell us why yeah, you a hater. Yeah, he was really hating on Logic, saying the song is dumb trash, this and that. Like, yo, why you hating, bro? You haven't made a hit in how long? Like, come on, son, stop. Stop. I, w- I wouldn't say that last part, because who gives a fuck about the music part? The yeah, hating but, part is is an issue, like... Yeah, as a who former, is he as, to say that? As a former musician, to say that to somebody else, like, damn, bro. That's just I hating. see where he's coming corny, from. You know what man. I'm saying? Like, nah. that's kind of corny, you, you know? You need to say it. And that. with all due respect, like, we, I love your podcast. I yeah, feel, it's great. It inspired this, what I we got going it. on. But he's you the man. really be on but, some hating yeah, shit, bro. Yeah, that's some hating shit, boy. With but all but due back respect. to Brent Fires. And bro. shout out to Savon, you heard? Back to Brent Fires, though. What you were saying about Brent Fires? Uh, Joe Budden reviewed his uh his album and he said it it was like one of the worst albums he's ever heard yeah damn yeah but like as underrated i mean i guess i don't listen to that SZA, uh, i don't she think she's underrated? underrated at all she's probably the eh, top three biggest female artists that in album the world. sounded like the album that she made i heard it amazing real cool. it's like I, this is SZA. like i'm like yo yeah, and she it was crazy because people didn't think she would be able to top her last album. Yeah, facts. Her new album, SOS, bro, yeah. and the tour looks great. She yeah. looks great. Shout out to her. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, she's so. amazing, bro. Like, that Kill Bill song yeah. is still ringing on the radio. That's that, slapping. That shit got almost a billion plays, and the album dropped, like, two months ago. That's crazy. Shout out SZA, man. Yeah, SZA's the, the man. My the man woman. said, rappers are like porn stars. Only some are here to stay and make a name for themselves. The rest have a little year or two popularity, then they become washed up and forgotten. 
I mean, yeah, that's always how it is. The rap game, the average lifespan is what, like, like three, three years, years, maybe. So. I yeah. mean, look at Pump. Look at Designer. Look at. It's too many. Lil Xan. Lil Xan. It's just too many. Man. <laughs> Earlier, a we lot were of rappers that video. from like 2018, 2019. <laughs> a lot of rappers from that era. Nowhere to be found, bro. Like they just not. And and it's unfortunate. A lot of the street rappers too. It's unfortunate, but it's it's gonna happen to everybody. What happened to the baby's man's? What happened to him? Yo, Stunner for Stunner for Hunter. Wait, Stunner for Vegas. Stunner for Vegas. What happened to him? That was my man. That was I was man? fucking with him. Yeah, that first album was hard, but then everything was the same exact. What happened with Twenty Four K Golden? What happened to him? 24K golden, man. Like, what happened? Like, what happened with Ian Dior? What they doing? Like, <laughs> like I don't, there's just so many. I Yo, can Ian Dior, 24K golden. He's cool. They, to the they're pod, not, I'm not saying they're not good. I'm just saying, like, it's hard to stay consistent in this rap game, bro. It and really you got to, let's be honest, bro. There's so much music dropping. A lot. It's a lot to listen to. I only Trill have two Sammy. ears. Trill Sammy. Trill Sammy. <laughs> Trill Sandwich, yeah. I mean, Jay Critch but never really, like, got to being big. But, like, he kind of, for a little bit, he's trying to make a comeback. Now. And he might be on the pod, too. That'll be hard. His team said they're down. Word? Yeah, so. That'll be hard. We might have to move the camera all the way up. Word. Hey. <laughs> hey. My man said, Control is still Kendrick's best verse of all time. Called out every rapper in the game, even Big Sean on his own song, Cold Blooded. Yeah, I heard that verse again, like, two weeks ago. Bro, mm. three and a half minute long verse, bro. <laughs> Yo, Jay Electronica, he just goes in. Big Crit Wale, Meek mm. Mill. Yo, he's just going in, bro. That is one of the greatest moments, rap verses. Yo, I wish there was another rapper that would do some shit like that, bro. Like, challenge his peers. Like, he's like, yo, I know I fuck with y'all. I got love for y'all, but I'm trying to murder y'all. <laughs> like, that's fire. I love that. The sport, the competition. Like, yeah. Come um, on. He had that Section 80 tape that I loved. Overly dedicated. He had a few tracks that, to me, those were some of his best verses. Yeah, yeah. He got um, a song called THC on there. No, HOC. HOC. HOC, yeah. Um, and a lot of these I heard from Dat Piff. Yeah, man. R.I.P. Yo, nah, nah, hold that on. Piff. Nah, hold on. R.I.P. No, no, they, no. They, dug they, him out the dirt. They tweeted saying that that was. Dig a your man's up on some Gucci they man tweeted, shit. They tweeted. You could check right now. They tweeted that that was a rumor, boy. They said we still out here, we but just they have, haven't been active since 2018. Yes, they. I have. mean, 2020. Yes, they have. On the site. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You could just go on there. You probably see little keys. They said on there. they. The article that came out said they ha like when you go on the site since 2020, like it was mad laggy. There wasn't any updates. No, you could go on it right now. Look, I'm on it right oh, now. Got fuck eight, me. You got a boogies album on here. It's a little sluggish right now. They said it's just technical issues and shit like that. But like, but we're not how are you nowhere. having technical issues when like for years you were dominating? Like you gotta have a backlog yeah, of bread. I know, yeah, I know. you gotta have a backlog of bread to like fix stuff like that. That's simple stuff, yeah. bro. But anyways, yeah, control. That is a fire verse, man. I haven't heard a verse like that since that shook the rap game. Maybe from off the top Good of my head. Good take. Not a hot take, but could be again. Now <coughs> knowing Uzi is good. Yeah. Now knowing that Uzi is sober on pink tape, I feel and low key nervous it might have the eternal take effect. Where it's good the first few months, really? then after don't have that much replay to last, but we'll have to wait and see. Half of the tracks on the red and white EP uh, were new tracks and he's been sober for like a year. Um, no, nah, I think it'll be a just lot of fine. those tracks were great. I'm not worried about hell no. Uzi's tape. And he said all. it himself, like I was discouraged at the beginning of my sobriety, like right. trying to figure out how to creative process and shit. You know, um, but he said he's cool, so I believe him. Yeah, I think yeah. he's Gucci. I think it'll do fine. Um, <clears throat> not a hot take, but could be. I feel like rappers could slash need to do what Tyler, the creator, is doing when it comes to albums. Every Tyler album has a different aesthetic and character to yeah. it. Not saying rappers have to do that formula, but I feel like it would be more exciting nowadays. It rappers is true. It's like a new era every album. Yeah, yeah. Right? Um, he's not a rapper, but The Weeknd does it. Don't mean to bring him up again. Yeah, but, yeah. Now nah, you're right. Um, he's always got a new character. There's a whole theme, a whole aesthetic, a new era, like with the concerts. Like, right, right. Nah, that's true. Um, I would, that would be dope if rappers do that because it kind of seems like well, the Rocky, last project I mean, is Rocky. the same thing. Rocky kind of does it, but uh, 
Cardi does it. Cardi's been. We, he had his uh, vamp era. Then we kind of got like narcissist, but we didn't get really. We didn't get no music. He had the leather jackets, the fawn, but that shit was. It hard. was supposed to be the narcissist that tour, but they ended up changing it because it was so satanic and shit. They just called it a King Vamp tour, right? Shit. Yeah, all that merch that they had. What happened to that? What if you paid for that? There was a helmet. There was a jacket. Nobody got that merch. What the fuck happened? They canceled Rockstar. Shit. By the way, that song you could Shazam it now. And if you was to play it on YouTube, it'll get taken down. So that means it's probably coming out soon. That song okay. it came out to and Rolling Loud. Filthy uh, remix Rockstar made to like a house beat. That, that shit, shit hard? was garbage. <laughs> that shit was so bad. <laughs> Wake Yo, up, Filthy. I'm sorry. And that's, I'm speaking objectively. Yeah. People like filthy, don't get offended. It's just Fuck my that. opinion. You don't even gotta say that. You don't need nah, no disclaimers. Be sensitive, bro. You don't need no disclaimers, bro. It's your opinion. You're right. Come on, bro. Like if they want to feel some type of way, they can eat a dick. I don't give a shit, bro. If I don't like a song, I don't like a song. I bet. Like no, you know what I'm saying? Nah, man. Say what you. What's out of here? <laughs> Lil Yachty wants people to be respected as an artist, and I get that. But when he says stuff like "f the projects I did before this," he did say that. You saw that? He was like, F everything yeah, yeah. I made before. I get why a lot of people look at him sideways. Don't matter what genre of music you make, you are an artist the moment you put lyrics to paper. I get both sides, but Lil Yachty needs to take advice by guys like Tyler or Kanye who put out projects no matter what people think. They just let the music talk. Yeah, he be, he be responding to too many fans. I hate when artists do that. Mm, yeah, he's like, oh, I'm not doing interviews anymore because people just keep misconstruing what I'm saying. Yachty... You're a, you're an amazing artist, bro. Word. Screw what everybody got to say. Stop responding to people. You don't see Travis Scott. You don't see The Weeknd. You don't see Cardi, none of, Cardi <laughs> Rocky. You don't see none of these humongous artists responding to the fans. Right. You look like Sofago right now. <laughs> like, you got to stop doing that, bro. Next. And that, that kind of sucks, too, because what if you're a fan of Yachty and you love his projects before? Now well, it's like, you're damn, not really my, a fan, my favorite though. artist doesn't like his previous work. Damn. That, well, maybe that you suck. should grow with him. How about grow that? with him. A Chris Brown and Lil Wayne tape would high key still bang and would probably do crazy numbers. Chris Brown? And Lil Wayne? I'm good. Yeah? Yeah, I'm, I'm great. <laughs> Come on, why are you hating, boy? Chris Breezy. That shit will be slapping. That shit will go take me back to 2011. I'm man. cool, man. <laughs> I'd rather have a, a Wayne and. Drake's, you know, collab. The main label guys shouldn't always hold their label mate's hand. For example, J. Cole, Travis Cardi have their own labels and people sign under them. And yes, they should give them advice and other tools to help the artists they sign. But for some reason, there's a lot of people saying they should be watching over them like a hawk. And when that person fails, they'll blame it on the main guy like the underlings can't make their own decisions. Um, I'm going to just respond to the first half. Mm -hmm. Um, I think, you know, label heads should watch over certain artists. Like, if you know you signed, like, a Juice World or, uh, or like, a Mac Miller or, like, those type of artists that do dabble in dangerous activity, like, you know, drug use and whatnot, yeah, like, like that should be a part of the contract where, you know, there's constant checkups, like, a... Every week you have like a, a fifteen minute meeting, like is everything okay? Whatever. Mm. It could be through Zoom. It's not like in yeah. person, you know? Maybe even a piss test every month. Cause there's millions of dollars you're investing right. into this artist. Or mental health, like I, yeah, exactly. Examination. You know? Like um so yeah, in that way I think labels should do that. But when it comes to like I I guess he's talking about artists signing other artists. Um I mean, hmm. I don't know. I guess so. Yeah. I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> That's an interesting take, though, man. Yeah. I don't know what to say on that. Young bands in his prime is better than Lil Pump in his prime and still better than him currently. <laughs> hey, that's... That's a hot take. That's a Shout hot out take. Megan. It's Megan that said that. That's what's up. Um, I was a big fan of Young Bands, and unfortunately... He just fell by the wayside. I don't know what happened. I know exactly Time's what changed. happened. I'm going to bring it up every single time. He scammed like 40 artists, up-and-coming artists, with the same verse. 
he sent out the same verse to like 40 different people Damn, that's and got bad. paid for all that. That's not okay, Yo. bro. So that that's that screwed him up, bro. And he was fucking with Future, too. Like, Future was giving him that He was rub. free bands. He was signed. Oh, word? Okay, it makes sense. Because Future would comment on his post with like a bird. And I thought his music was hard. Like, yeah. I, like 2019, 2020, I was bumping that shit. Even 2018. I liked his style. I met him 2018. He was pretty dope. Like, I liked the bands. Like, I, that plug, yeah. that him and that plug beats, I thought that shit was I didn't hard. know who he was. Definitely but better than Pump, in my opinion. Yes, yeah. I agree with that. When I met him, I didn't know who he was, but he performed, and that shit was hard. Like, Bang. he sold that shit out, so. Hell yeah. Yeah, man, shout out Young Bands. I would like to see a comeback. Look, <laughs> live performance is a bigger part of what makes an artist than most would think. Their music could be okay, but if they are a performer... They can garner mad respect and attention. On the other hand, if they make good music but are poor at performances, the respect can be weakened quite a bit. Yeah, what do you people think? definitely respect the the music may not be great, but if they see that he's trying, he's sweating every Effort. performance. Like, yo, I, I'll keep I'll keep giving him a listen, you know. Yeah, and and we've like we see openers all the time at these shows. They be going. They may in. be like a. Um, like a 200, 300 person venue, right? Yeah. You know those shows, the smaller shows? Yeah. We see openers that give lackluster effort and we're like, yo. How could you? What? That makes no sense. Like, how could you disrespect yourself and like just give Come us a on. point? Like, and then those guys who really, you know, go in and yeah. give us a real show, you, you respect, respect it a lot yeah. more. You're like, Hell yo, yeah. like. Okay, I respect it. Yeah, and if the music is great but the performance stinks, I I definitely see that. I talk about it all the time. Trippy, right? Like shit like that sucks, man. Like everybody wants. That's why Sheck West. Shout out Sheck West, man. My my, my man's be dripping yeah. bull sweat yes. every performance, bro. <laughs> Shout yeah. out Sheck West. And on top of that, the music's pretty good. Summertime is the best time for music, especially for quote unquote lit rappers. But for artists like 21 Savage, should continue to drop in the fall. I feel that. I feel like really? certain artists, you expect them to drop during the cold, like A Boogie or some shit. Yeah, like, yeah. The cold weather hoodies. The weekend the, always tries to drop in the fall. Right? King, he call, he's called King of the Fall. Word? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's like the like, seventh like time like I brought Khaled, him up to podcast. DJ, I know, right? Yeah. DJ Khaled's always good for summertime. Summer. Drake. You know what I'm saying? So I feel that. Even Drake. Even though he's October's very own, I love when he drops during the summer. Like, uh, oh, honestly, never mind was great for mm, the summer. Yeah, yeah. And he performed some songs in Argentina. Oh yeah, that was fire. Yeah, the crowd doing I haven't mosh seen him. Shit? I haven't seen <laughs> you stupid. I haven't seen him perform any honestly never mind songs, but it was nice to see that. Like that meme of I him like see that. in the club <laughs> is the best, bro. Like there's so many different versions. Like brushing yeah. your teeth. <laughs> Yeah. Like, mad stupid, bro. <laughs> Whoever made that is hilarious. <clears throat> Let's see. Baby Keem is here to stay. Kendrick's career is starting to feel like he's getting ready to retire. So Keem is already here to take the torch once Kendrick is ready to be done. I don't think Kendrick is starting to feel like he's getting ready to retire at all. Yeah. <laughs> he I don't just think, did a whole tour. A I don't think album. artists like that, like Kendrick, don't they don't retire. Yeah, nah. If anything, they go on a little hiatus five years, four years. Yeah, you know? nah. Not happening. But as far as Keem, yeah. we'll see. I think he's good. If Benny X keeps it up with Yeet, he will be in the talks and ranks of producers like Filthy, Metro, etc. Same with Yeet. This tour and consistent music will solidify him as one of the best and versatile he's artists. He's already there. He's already there. <laughs> he doesn't miss when it comes to trying new things. A lot of artists can't or won't try to change what they're doing. Great take, uh, but he's already there. Um, Benny, Benny X. Benny X is probably top five producers right now. As far as like, it's so he's diverse. Hot. He's it's hot. so diverse though. Man. He does eighties pop to nine. Like he he'll put a little boom bap in there. That tag that I feel like dying. That's another person. That's a. That, I think that's a duo of two. Bro, kids. because I hear two that kids. in every song nowadays, yeah. bro. They yeah. going. Every time I hear that, it's gas. Because they like, him and Benny X collab a lot. I would love a Benny X and Filthy collab album. Imagine them two. Like, and let's just get 10 songs and we're good. Mm. 10 of the best songs you got. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, boy. Episode 51. Oh, wait, 51. Stop playing 51, with us. 51, man. Hit the like button, man. Hit the like now. button. Yo, 85% still 
That's know, eighty five percent of shout people you, watching. Though, you gain a lot of subs from that yeet video, boy. Shout out, shout out to the yeah, yeah, yeah. let's get eighty five percent of our viewership is unsubscribed. Imagine if we got halfway, bro. Come on, guys. Come on, man. Flip the switch. We got the donation button active. If you want to show love monetarily, you definitely can. Thank you, y'all. We love y'all. Turn me up. You. Goodbye. Tommy, tell me. Are you going